Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video I am going to show you how you can count the number of distinct items in an array. So this array um, has got ID A three times and B once. and We want to count quickly and easily without using an apply to each that there are three A's and one B. This is actually a response to a new Power Automate community member called Prot3Go who's trying to do it and has said that he doesn't want to use an apply to each. So I guess in his production system, this array is a lot bigger and it's just not fast enough. So let's crack on and uh, build it. So the first thing that I am going to do is add a select action. And I'm going to use the array as my input. I'm going to put this select action into text mode and I'm just going to get the ID. And then I'm going to use a compose action. So this select action is just going to give us a plain array. Um, and I'm going to call this one distinct. I'm going to use the outputs of the select action along with union. So I'm going to pick the output of the select and the output of the select. And then from there, I am going to create another compose action. And this is going to be called prepare array. And it is going to look like this. This might not be immediately obvious why I'm doing this, but you'll soon see, because I'm going to be using the X, X path expression. And so I'm going to make an XML representation of the array. So I'm going to get the array there, and then I'm going to do another step. And this is going to be called XML. I'm going to do XML dynamic content prepared array or prepare array. So I'm just going to save that and see what we got. Okay, so our select took our original list and broke it down to a, a simple array. So we've got A, 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 B, A. And then distinct has just A and B. And then our XML we'll look at in a different format. I'm just going to put this into a pretty printer. So we've got a nicely formatted XML now. And then I am going to go to the XPath, uh, xpather.com, and I'm going to build up an XPath query. So what we are looking for is anything that's in the array. And then I'm going to take the ID forward slash text equal to A. Okay, so that has now collected us all three of the items which are equal to A. Um, and that will probably do us actually. So now we will go into another select action. And this time for the input of the select, we're going to use the output of distinct. So it's going to run once for each entry and we've got two entries which are A and B. So on the left side we'll have ID and the expression it will just be item. And then we'll have count on this side. And then we'll have length. So X path will return an array. I'll show you that again in a second. So we'll do X path and then dynamic content XML. And here is our XPath expression. 
but as you can see at the moment, it's hard coded to A. So what I'm going to do is inject the current item. And I need to wrap that in a concat. I'm not sure if this is right now, so I'm just going to put it into notepad. Length, xpath, outpath, xml, concat. Yeah, it looks about right. Nope. One more of those. So let's just see what that gives us. It might work, it might not. Okay, so our inputs were A and B. And so the selectors looped around twice, once for A, once for B, completed the search for A and found three, and completed the search for B and found one. And that is how you can count the number of distinct items without a loop, and it should finish very, very quickly. So I hope that is helpful to the person that asked the question. Prot3 go, and that you managed to improve the performance of your flow. For everybody else, I hope this has been another useful demonstration of the XPath expression. It is actually one of the most powerful expressions in Power Automate, but it is sort of neglected because it is not particularly friendly when you first start to use it. But you can always use XPather to make it easier for you um, to test out your XPath queries before you decide to um, put it into Power Automate. So I'll see you in the next video and uh, best of luck building your flows.